Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. So for the beginning portion of this video, we will be doing the drawing for our September giveaway. Thank you to everyone who participated. We ended up with 1.1K views and 117 likes. I appreciate all of your guys' love and support for my channel. And I look forward to each one of these monthly giveaways with you guys. Now let's switch over to our comment picker and we will go ahead and copy and paste paste our URL. Now let's go ahead and filter out those duplicate users. Do a little bit of adding. We ended up with 50 unique comments and let's go ahead and start the giveaway. Congratulations to Carol Moore. Oh my God, I love the brooch. What a find. Thank you so much for participating, Carol. Be sure to check my description where you will find my email and we will get this jewelry jar sent right out to you. Thank you so much again for participating. Thank you all so much for all of your guys' love and support. And we'll go ahead and switch over to the unboxing portion of the video. We're going to be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And this box is coming from Dayton, Ohio. I always love getting from Dayton. I've been getting a lot from Dayton lately and I'm not going to complain because honestly they're one of my favorite places to get from. I get high-end, low-end pieces, lots of resellable items so I'm super excited to open this one up. Our first look we have some really fun metallics going on and lots of silver tones loving the heart pendant on here we're gonna set this aside and dig in if you are interested in a piece be sure to check the description below where you can find my email and also links to my Poshmark and my Etsy shops Thank you all so much for participating in this month's giveaway. I love doing those giveaways with you guys, and I'm so happy that you guys enjoy them just as much as I do. Okay, fun first tangle for our, the video. Let's see, this looks like stainless steel to me. Maybe there is a missing like watch part of this. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this one in a lot. If you're interested in a lot box piece, I do sell those pieces. You will have to email me to receive one of those. I do sell lot boxes as well. You can check my Etsy, my Poshmark account for those. And I do also offer custom boxes. Fun little tasseled earring here. I'm going to start an earring pile with that one. Then we have this gold overstretched hoop. It's got this silver kind of inner tubing here. So let's check it with a magnet. It's not magnetic. Let me get my loop out. See if I can see any markings on here. Okay, we'll set this aside. See if it's worth testing. Dayton can be hit or miss when it comes to these tangles. So sometimes I have no tangles and then sometimes I have a bunch of tangles. Okay, I think that'll do it for most of the tangles that were going on in that bunch. So we're going to look at some of these pieces. Those are going to go in, into the earring pile. Same with that one. This one was pretty cool. It's giving me a pewter look. And I thought that was fun with the, with the people. It almost looks like they're dancing. So it'd be fun to find the match to that. We've got a lovely statement necklace here. Kind of looks like maybe some earth stones going on, but they are not cool to the touch. They are giving me a little bit of a glass reading. So yeah, that's a nice one. I like the chain details on this one. It's going to be a layered look. I'll do this one for $1. You will find your best prices here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to email me. I'm going to give this one to my little girl. She loves rainbows right now. 
And I love that you guys love my enthusiasm for giving my kids jewelry. I think it's so fun to share with them and it's so nice to hear that you guys do the same. Love the quartz crystal in here with that gold gilding. Not too fond of the chain. It's got just a little bit of wear on it. I like the copper look, but again, just some of the discoloration on there. So I might change that into a different chain, maybe put it on a gold chain. All right, fun earring. I love a good floral design. So I'm gonna put that aside, hope for a match. Some of those I will change into pendants. All right, we missed a chain in here. Looks like an extension chain. I'll set that aside. Sometimes those extra chains are really nice. So if you're new to reselling, don't be afraid to keep those chains. I'm gonna see if there's any marking on this one. Let's check it with magnet. It's not magnetic. It's kind of giving me a silver look. Don't see any markings on it. I'll put that one aside as well. Possible keep item. Okay, we have the costume pearl necklace. It's gonna be pretty long. This was causing all the trouble. So I'm gonna put that one in a lot. This little tiny baby ring. What does it say? 12.50 half. Hmm, let's see. And then it's got like a label, like a number on it. How cute is that little tiny baby ring? Maybe it's a pinky ring. It would not fit my hands, but it's so tiny and cute. I'm not seeing any markings on there. Not really getting much of a pull on it. It's kind of giving me a copper look hmm yeah I'm thinking this is maybe a copper it's so pretty though it's so tiny super tiny but lovely ring I'll do some research on that one definitely giving me a vintage look with that design All right, I'm gonna put that one in a lot all right, this one had the pendant that came off of it. Just hooks right back onto here. Fairly easy fix. If you are new to reselling, I would highly recommend you getting a jewelry kit with the little tools and all the little extra O-rings. Very helpful. Okay, kind of up in the quartz area. Nice stone necklace here. Looks like it's gonna be throughout the chain as well. Yep, so some more of those earth stones in there. Great earthy tones, loving the blue in there. Pretty colors. Again, kind of that gold gilding on the sides. I'll do this one for $8. Okay, next is gonna be this layered costume necklace. I'm going to put that one in a lot. And thank you all so much for viewing my latest shorts video. If you love thrifting and family fun, be sure to check out my shorts videos. I love doing those videos with you guys. They're super fun. Look at the colors in this. I love the glass pendant. I'll do this one for $8 as well. I could add a silver chain to it, but I like the the fabric material on this one. Very cool. Lots of vibrant colors in this box. Here's the other glass pendant and got that metallic paint on there. This has got the ribbon. I'll do this one for $4. All right, this is marked $2. And I'm gonna put this one in a lot. Sometimes I do keep those vintage styled necklaces. But I am fairly picky now that I have a fairly large collection. Set of earrings there. Heart bracelet, I'll do this one for $1. It is stretchy. Here's gonna be a long jeweled necklace. Looks like we're missing the other end on there. 
So I'm gonna put this one in a lot. These would be great for crafting. I love seeing all the crafts that you guys do, so be sure to add me on Facebook. And you'll also, so that I can see all of your fun designs. Looks like some sea glass there. Another great, fun beads there. I'll do this one for $1. Actually, this one's gonna go on a lot. It's broken off. Seed bead, tiny little seed bead, maybe anklet. It's kind of big for a bracelet. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Another fun one for maybe my daughter. All right, it's the HH tag. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but the jewelry identification group on Facebook is great for those markings. So I would highly recommend you guys adding yourself to that group. I'm gonna put that one aside. See if I can do some more research. And I also encourage you guys to add me on Facebook so that you can get sneak peeks into those monthly giveaways. INC. You will get some sneak peeks at least a day or two ahead on those giveaways. And just any of the updates that are going on will be on my Facebook page. All right, fun. I love the jewels on this one. It's got these little tiny black jewels. I don't know if it's metal or if it's... We're gonna test it. All right, no reading on there. I like the stars though, I'll do this one for $2. Fun seashell necklace with the little sparkles on there. I'll do that one for $1. gold chain gonna go in a lot we got the plastic very art deco vintage look it's a little dirty i'll have to clean that up but that might be a good one for resell i'll do this one for three dollars some of those plastics can be worth quite a bit of money all right broken kind of choker style necklace adding to a lot Stretchy, fun crystal bracelet. I'll do that one for $1. All right, this is giving me a Y2K look with that thick chain and the bold heart. I'll do this one for $2. And thank you all as well for the early birthday wishes. I'll be turning 30 next week. I cannot believe it. And I'll be doing some fun videos coming up on turning 30 and all that fun, fun stuff. What a day. What a joyful day. <laughs> turning 30. All right, this looks like a whole bunch of earrings. Maybe some charms. So this one's not an earring, but some of these, okay. So maybe they're not earrings. Maybe they're just some charms. Got like the Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty, the Sphinx, Leaning Tower. Okay, so lots of fun little charms on that one. I'll have to look these up, but I will do this for $2. Another one with the little cocktail. I know some of you guys have told me those are wine glass charms, but I'm not sure if that one is. All right, plastic, pink, bangle. It's got a seam in it, so it's not gonna be any vintage plastic. Goldish tone bangle, gonna go into a lot. Fun earring, unfortunately it is broken. I'm still gonna put it in my earring pile. Another one of those charms. Kind of give me like a raw quartz J Jill. Looks like maybe there was a price on it. Definitely got some amethyst going on. It's almost on like a ribbon and it's a pull through. Let's just test this. Okay, got some nice amethyst on there. Let's test these ones. I 
think these are just plastic. Yeah, those are just gonna be plastic. It's gonna be a new tag item. Stretchy dyed howlite bracelet. I'll do that one for $1. All right, looks like we're gonna have some more chains tangled in here. This is fun. I actually really like this necklace. Let's see if there's any markings. All right, looks like it's going to be Korea. So this is most likely going to be a costume piece. But I like it. I like the, the layering going on at the bottom. I like the silver tones. It's in good condition. I love the heart designs. I'll do this one for $8.00. Very fun piece. Looks like we're gonna have a broken, maybe 925 chain. Hmm, let's see. Yes, so that is 925 chain. And I do keep these scraps. Sometimes I keep them just for scrap, uh, but also sometimes I keep them just to, for repair purposes as, as well. Like this clasp I could use on another chain that might have a clasp that is broken off of it. So it's always nice to keep those spares around. All right, this is really big for like a bracelet. So maybe this is an anklet. Also seems kind of small to be anything else like a choker. Okay, 925 China. This is all metal in there. Sometimes they have like little tiny diamond chips but I don't see any in there. It's a lovely little piece there. I'll do this one for $10. This is fun. All right, so tasseled. It looks like it might be broken though. Let's, let's take a look. All right, here we go. Almost got it. All right, so does look like we're going to be missing. All right, does look like this is unraveling just a little bit. So I don't know if I can fix that or just cut it off and maybe burn it to keep those ends nice and smooth. But yeah, that is fun. Kind of giving me a Native American look. Pretty long tassels on there. I will do this one for $8. Right, we have a black cross. This is another one that might be fun for Halloween. I know I've sold a couple of those Halloween style crosses and the gothic kind of vibes going on. It's beautiful. So I'll do this one for $8. All right, another chain. That does not look like sterling to me. Look at this beautiful, what is this a choker, I want to say? Looks like it's a choker, yeah. That is so pretty. I like the design on here. I don't see any markings on it. The chain looks a little bit dirty, but also could just be this color. Look how vibrant that is. Love the blues and the reds going on. I'll do this one for $8. All right, very chunky bangle here. Let's see if it's missing. All right, it's missing a couple of stones. Right, so I'm gonna put that one in a lot. I'll put that one over in the lot. That's two cheetah print earrings that we've found so far. And people do love the prints, the cheetah prints still, all that fun stuff. We have a layered necklace here. Ooh, Vera Wang, I think. Pretty sure that's Vera Wang. Like, does it sit to the side or is it just dangle? Okay, it looks like it just dangles down. It's got these very large flower details. I'll do this one for $8. I've got a 
jeweled diamond pull through bracelet. Nice beads there. I'll do this one for $1. stretchy little overstretched bracelet there. I'll do that one for one dollar. Earrings are so funny. They get tangled in so many things. It's wild how easily they get tangled into everything. We do have, I think, our first matching set here. I like the hearts. Got these like tiny little dot details. I'll do those for $1. Another extender chain. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Another one for the lot. Okay, strength. Look like there might have been a tag on this one too. Just a blank one. Okay, I'm going to put that one in a lot. All right, I love these baggies. I use all reusable and reused packaging, so I love getting those bags like that. And just to let you guys know, if you do buy from me, all of my packaging is reused materials. I try to be as environmentally conscious as I can be. I love being outside and I love nature, so I really try to, of course, enjoy but also uh, try to be as sustainable as possible. Like this bracelet, kind of give me that aquamarine blue. These are gonna be some plastic beads, but it's still a pretty piece. I'll do that one for $1 and I'll keep that bag to be reused for my packages. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Getting a lot of those beaded looks today. Ooh, some really vibrant pieces here. All right, look at that earring. What a showstopper. All right, what is this? So it's a, maybe a broken necklace, I wanna say. Another fun crafting piece. I could see this being like a mossy painting or something like that. I've been Loving seeing some of your guys' designs on Facebook. I really enjoy when you guys tag me in your designs. I love seeing your guys' artwork. I'm a big fan of anything artsy. I like painting, so definitely share with us. All right, I love when bangles have those catch chains. They're so convenient. I actually have a couple that I love, and those catch chains have saved me multiple times. Oh, this is super light. I don't think it's, all right, it's a little bit magnetic there. You can see it pull in. So that is unfortunate. It's maybe just some silver plating going on because it does give me like a little silver plated look. It's in good condition though. It's fairly small. I'll do this one for $2. A brooch with just this little hook in. Pin. Got some stones in there, so let's test it. All right, give me kind of a glass reading. Missing a lot of stones, though. No markings on that one. All right, this little guy caught my eye. All right, 925 on there. Thinking that's 925 on the back, too. Yep, 925 on the back. Let's test that stone. Getting me up in almost like the jade and spinel. Yeah, that's really nice. It kind of in the aqua as well. It does. I can't really tell if the camera's picking it up, but it does have like a hint of blue in there. And this would be so pretty as a pendant if we don't find the match. It'd be great as a set of earrings, but if we don't find the match, this would be gorgeous as a pendant. Lovely find there. All right, another fun, maybe dyed howlite piece with some more copper. I'll do this one for $1. Purple bangle, gonna go to my daughter. 
my kids haven't really gotten too much out of this box, so they are not going to be too happy. I'll have to improvise. They know when I receive a Goodwill Blue Box and they are always wanting to open it with me, so maybe I'll do an unboxing with them one day. It is like a frenzy when they come in the door when they hear I'm done with my videos. All right, heart necklace. I'm going to put that one in a lot. Kind of another vintage style necklace. This has got a crown, almost giving me like a juicy couture kind of look. I don't know another brand that has that. I think this is all plastic. Yeah, this is going to be all plastic, but cool design. I like the vibrant colors on there. I'll do some research on that crown look. I don't see any markings, but even like the ends have that crown and usually that's Juicy Couture, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this Juicy Couture wise. So very interesting. Do some research. Right. Very metallic colors going on with that one. Hooped earring. I like the design on this one. No markings on it. Let's check it. It is magnetic. So not going to be any silver. It's a pretty statement necklace. Another Art Deco look with the circles. I love all the, the shapes going on today. I like the green tone. I'll do this one for $2. We've got a very large necklace here. White House Black Market. So that's another great brand for resale. This is going to be fairly big. I mean, bigger than my than my palm. So fairly big piece in good condition. All the rhinestones seem to be there. So I'll do this one for two dollars. Oh, this is so precious. It's like little giraffes. Maybe a leg or two broken off. This might be a fun one for my son. He loves like little tiny things. We're kind of like in the Lego stage, but my youngest son is like not close to the Lego stage. So we're, we're trying to figure it out. It's a complicated stage we're in right now, but he will love this. I'm definitely going to give that one to him. All right, maybe another silver chain. It's got an earring wrapped around it. Let's just check with a magnet. All right, not magnetic. So I'll set that aside. It has a broken clasp, so that would be great for that other one that we found with the clasp. I don't see any markings on this one. Highly recommend investing in a magnet. I don't think I see any markings, but let's check. I think those are just scratch marks. Okay, we'll put that aside, see if we can find a match. All right, lots of little fun. This one's going to go to my daughter. She loves hearts right now, too. All right, those are going to be those costume pearls and this really fun green bracelet. I'll do that one for $1. All right, is that Sarah? Yep, Sarah Coventry. I love some Sarah Coventry. We found that really fun Mona Lisa piece last week. I appreciate that. All of you guys appreciate it just as much as I do. Very fun piece. Ooh, super magnetic. So not going to be any copper. It looks almost like brassy. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then we got a little O-ring here. More bracelets. This is gunmetal gray. I like the gunmetal. Some people aren't really fond of it, but I do like some gunmetal mixed in there. Looks really nice with a little black dress. I'm going to put that one in a lot though. It is magnetic. Earring. Look at this lovely little earring. Looks like amethyst. I don't think it's silver, but yep, lovely amethyst piece. It's always better to set these items down to test, but I knew that one was going to be amethyst. These would be fun to take off too. I'm, I'm looking into jewelry making, so I like the idea of some of those coming off. Okay, this looks just like the earring we found way in the beginning. So I'm wondering, are these a mixed pair? 
because they look exactly the same. Very interesting. I'll have to do some research on these. Highly recommend using Google Lens. It does really good at identifying things, especially for newer resellers who are trying to learn. I'll do that ring for one dollar. Another bangle. A little pull-through bracelet. Ooh, this is. I'm gonna try and say this correctly. Taos, T-O-U-S. It's a great brand for resale. These are actually pretty high end, especially the gold ones. All right, it says nine two five, and then what's the other mark down there? I think maybe a serial number. 25 CI. Yeah, I think that's a serial number down there. That is great. So these, even the smaller ones, are fairly expensive. It's got the little bear on there. I'm thinking these are maybe rose quartz. Great reading on there. Yeah, I think that's a fabulous find. This, this little bracelet right here will pay for this whole box and then some. So really awesome find. Great name brand. And great for resale. I have never found one of these before. So that's great. If I mispronounce something, be sure to help me correct myself. I do a lot of reading on jewelry, so it might be something I just haven't heard out loud yet. So I love your guys' advice. I love hearing your guys' comments on how to pronounce things and how you guys um, write it out for me. So I really do appreciate you guys' knowledge and just newer resellers too. We're all learning here. It's great to have support on this channel. I've had so many of these bracelets and the last one I had was Jade, gorgeous green Jade a bracelet like this, bracelet cuff. And it was gorgeous. This one looks like maybe it's kind of giving me a Jasper look, but I'm not getting any like glass reading on there, which the Presidium won't you know, read some of those earth stones. This is great though. They are a little bit cooler to the touch still. So I'm thinking these are still some earth stones. Lovely piece here. I'll do this one for $5. All right, more stretchy bands, all that fun stuff. down to the bottom here. I'm just going to dump the rest of this out. This is my favorite part is getting to all these little bits. You never know what you're going to find in the little bits down at the bottom. All right, this is a fun brooch. Check that out. Very Edwardian style there. Not super fond of the glue work on this side. It looks like maybe it was just re-glued on. Because the other side doesn't... Oh, okay. Well, it's not looking too great on that side either. But still a lovely brooch. And all these would be great for Halloween. People decorating for, you know, making costumes and all that fun stuff. So that's a great, great resellable piece. I'll do that one for $3. Look at this big guy. Kind of giving me like an Egyptian look. Put that one to the side, put it in the earring pile. Look at that gorgeous butterfly. It's missing one little stone, so we'll see if we can find it at the bottom. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are magnetic, so we're looking at hematite or magnetite. Lovely. I love that green butterfly. So we'll see if I can fix this. If I can't find the replacement for it, if I can find the replacement stone down there, I'll do it for 12. All right, this is going to be that cruise ship charms. I'm going to put that one in a lot with the double dolphin. All right, another bangle going to a lot. I got something going on in the back here. Sarah, so Sarah Coventry, I'm sure. One earring. It looks like we might have a marking on this one. 
So sometimes I have to move off camera because I can't read this in the shadow of my phone. It looks like it's just like a little indention in there. So I don't think you can still test it. See if we got any gold on there. I do have my gold testing kit. Let's see, let's just whip out the 14K. This is another awesome thing to have on hand as a reseller. Always great to test those golds. This does not seem to be budging at all. So I'm gonna say it's at least 14 carat. It is still holding on strong there. So that's great. Awesome find on the little single earring. Let's hope for a match for that one. We're down to the bits, so we'll find out soon enough if we've got the match for it. All right, some more of these charms. Maybe that's where that other O-ring came from. All right, this one comes on and off, but I don't know what in the world. Okay, this is very, like, wine-inspired. So this, this maybe is, like, a wine glass charm so we got the cheese the goblet the wine opener grapevine and the little like ice wine bottle holder so we'll see what those are oh look at that shiny earring let's go ahead and test this one all right we have no reading on that one just barely moving up on glass and it's got that silver backing. And that usually tells me that it's not going to be like a higher end item when it's got that silver tone instead of gold all the way out. Very shiny though. All right. Little plastic vintage looking earring. Kind of that. Another earring. This is cool. All right, it does have a seam here, so it's not going to be vintage plastic. It's got a seam on both sides, but that looks really fun. Fun piece there. I'll do that one for $3. Another stretchy band bracelet. Sometimes I will give those to my daughter, but I've got to be cautious of what I give her because she's still a little bit young. I got an A. All right, broken class. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Kind of an overstretched, maybe this was an earring. Yeah, maybe that was a drop earring. Looks silver. Okay, fun beaded necklace. I'll do that one for $2. Okay, that ring that we saw earlier might have been the matching earring to that one. All right, this is Walmart brand, Time and True. And they were selling it for $1. I'll do it for $1. All right, lovely bangle here. I love the the twisted metal look on that one. It is magnetic, but it's a fun costume piece. I'll do that one for $1. All right, back to this heart. I love the design on there. It looks like maybe it's a 1928 brand with that swirls on the, on the back side of it. Don't see any markings on it, but yeah, I love that. Little porcelain looking flower. I'll do this one for $3. I forget what this bird is called. It's got a little bit of a marking, it looks like. Saint something. S-T-L-A-R. Saint Lar. I can't remember what this brand is. But this is a cool brooch and definitely resellable. These are cool pieces. I love the designs that they do. Right, 
get another fun earring. Very dirty. Let's test the stone in there. Okay, reading glass. It's very see-through, I will say. Sometimes that's a good indicator that we're not looking at a diamond or anything. All right, it looks kind of like puka shells earring. Fun little emerald design. These are plastic, but we'll test it. All right, going for kind of glass range. Vibrant earring. Of copper with some fun, almost looks like amber on the top there. Oh, this is like a glass bead with some mother of pearl charm going on. I'll do that one for $2. Another quartz earthy stone looking earring. Not a ton of matches today. But some of those will definitely be turned into pendants, so I cannot complain. What does that say? St. Thomas, another great resellable brand. A lot of these elegant, kind of classic looking designs are great for resell. I'll do this one for $8. I'll put that one in a lot. Let's see what that marking is. Judy Lee, clip on pearl, and those single earrings are great for resell. I know you guys commented maybe the video before last about reselling those single earrings, and you guys highly recommend, and I also recommend that. One of my first big sales was a vintage 1990s Chanel earring. It's a very cool find. I got this very large brooch here with this giant stone. Let's see what this says down here. Jan. Looks J-A-N. That's what it looks like to me with like a C stamp. It's a brooch, but also maybe... I don't know what this hook is for. Maybe... It could have been a pendant or something. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know what you think. I'm not getting much of a reading on this one. It's kind of moving up on glass just a little bit. Sometimes these can be pretty dirty, so it might be something I need to clean up and retest. But I'll do some research on that one. Very cool. Interesting brooch there. Right down to the very bottom here. It looks like we might have Mexico, 925 Mexico. Another great one to set aside either for scraps or see if I've got match it. For that one, I do collect single earrings, so I've got a whole jar full. But I do find some matches in there periodically, so that's a one that I might be able to find a match for. I like the etching on this earring. It almost looks like giving me like a hieroglyphic look. It's got little designs on it, like flowers and like a tree maybe. So very cool. I love the little details that artists put into their pieces. Fun one. Another one that I might have to keep for myself. And we got the little stud here. So we found some really cool pieces today. Very interesting pieces. Lots of greenery and lots of really pretty like little pieces today. Awesome find there. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you all so much for participating in our September giveaway. I'm super excited to be doing those free monthly giveaways with you guys. Congratulations to the winner and until next time.